Hey guys, welcome back to The Long Dark. Quick recap of what's happened so far. Mackenzie, the main character, what we're, who we're playing, he's agreed to fly his ex-wife in a case, a mysterious, well, mysterious case, to the far north of Canada with no real explanation as to why. She wouldn't tell him why. On the way, planes was hit by what well, seemed to be an EMP blast of some sort and were crashed in the wilderness. Uh, now Mackenzie's he's got the case Astra's know every scene so he's looking for her and we stumbled through the wilderness managed to feature a mostly deserted town called Milton and we found a survivor this woman right here called the Grey Mother who needs food and fuel well, it's going to be fuel food and fuel to get through the winter without further ado let's get started Right, so let's head out. I think we might check the other buildings first. Well, it's not too bad. Right, let's go and check these main buildings first, see if we can't find. I really need a sleeping bag. In here. Hello, uh, ATMs. Such as drawers. Oh. oh, nice. Must be the key to the bank manager's house. I'll be hungry later. Uh, steel. Who oh, will take steel? Still's okay, not great, but it's all right. You get to grab that water. Drink it now. Oh, I shouldn't have drank it. That was worse than it was. Uh, anything in the trash? No. We need for that. I think we need a pry bar or something. We need that. So we go search through these. Take the papers. Anything in the microwave? This will come oh. in handy. Cup of coffee. Cold coffee. I'll warm that up later. And we have a safe. Our bank vault and a safe. Oh, shit, that sounds going to be five. Try and crack this. Six. Come on. I don't want to go too fast. Six. Six forty. Yeah, okay, we'll get there. Six. Forty. Fifty nine, six, forty, fifty nine, hope oh, there's something good in here, all oh, papers, lovely, and a book, lovely, cash, 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 fire stuff, that's stuff we can all go for her. Making fires for the lady. Right. Didn't check down here, did I? Staff room. Goodness. 
I'll definitely take that. Any medical supplies? Anything else in here? No. Nope. Right. I'm going to find this bank manager's house. And off we go. Right. Let's see the way down a bit. I've got to check. I know there's wolves around here as well. office. I know this isn't the bank manager's house. Well, it could be. Something good in there. Oh, a note. Hello. Uh, Margaret, we've stopped accepting mail at Milton. We have no way of getting it back to the mainland, but we can't tell people that or they'll know we've been holding on to it all this time. Find some excuse, so we can steal their mail. Find some excuse. Whenever you can, encourage people to use email or drone if they can afford it. I keep my eyes open for the mail van, but I don't hold out high hopes. I imagine Jack probably drove it into a tree again somewhere way back in the 40. In the back 40? We're likely to never find it back. I don't understand that. We're likely to never find it back. Damn, I should have stopped him from taking the truck while he was on the drink. I'll see what I can do to fix the situation. Hold tight. I may as well carry it. Uh, can we open any of these? No. Probably the ones in the back. There is no back. Where? Oh well. Short and sweet. Right. Can I get into this house? Let me check in the house, all these houses if I can. I need, I really need a sleeping bag. Or bedroll, I think it's called. Uh, don't want to take that metal, it's too heavy for now. That'll come in handy. Definitely take them though. Simple tools, yes, please. Uh, scrap metal, and this back door. This really is a freaking pokey house. I don't even know if it is a house. Uh, lots of metal. It is it is back outside. Always really conscious about bloody wolves. Oh, that's the bank. The bank manager's house has got to be not far away from the from the bank, has it? Nothing in those pipes. No. This one, because it's different to all. It's not a generic one. It's this has got a flag outside, and the door's locked. I think this could be a new home for now. Uh, antiseptic. I don't know how long I'm going to be in town. Anything in the freezer? Gamey Lake Whitefish. Take it. Uh, kill it. Anything in the oven? 
No. Tools there. Oh, can open up. Will come in handy. Yes, please. Nothing in there. We'll leave that tea for now. We'll be good. Uh, never underestimate the requirement of a tin opener. In the apocalypse, it is going to be nigh on essential. And it's not something a lot of people think about. I'll take that wood. That's I've got a stove. Do I have a pot? No. Do I want to use the flare? Touch more light. Uh, we've got leather shoes. I think I can use this. Ooh. Thank you. I'll take that, Parker. Take an extra pair of socks. More sweater. I think that was a bit of a stupid idea to use that thing. Um, cargo pants. Oh, on a bed. Is that a bed? Sorry, I was really cold, child. Um, what have we here? It will come in handy. Right. So we're going to dump a load of stuff off because we need some extra things. We're going to put uh, food. Won't actually have that much food. Uh, I'm put clothes. Hold on. We better actually equip some first. Uh, button. You keep Mackenzie's shirt on because that's not as good. It's a wrong button. Damn it. Temperatures up, wind resistance is down though. I'm gonna wear that one. Two layers of that. Cargo pants. I don't have any on another underwear. I'm gonna keep these boots for now. Right. So let's you and you. Let's just put you and you in there for now. Uh, food bars were okay. You could do with some sleep. It's coming up to night time. I do need food as well. I think she said there was a convenience store. Down this way. Keep an eye out for animals. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to get some food first. I think I'm okay for stones. I 
Walker. There's a deer over there. No way to kill it though. Not yet, anyway. Could do with some meat. Oh, and there's a wolf. Uh, deer, there's a wolf coming up behind you. Yeah, he's being hunted. Right now. I know, Mackenzie, be quiet. And check this car. I can't open the trunk. Check around the outside first. Uh, nothing. Wood. Can't break them down. That requires a hatchet. And here we go. Hello? I don't know, I always find buildings really creepy. Oh, peaches. This food. Uh, yes, please. Uh, don't want to start a fire in here yet. Broken metal door. I see it. Do you see it? Bedroll. Thank you. Take that book. History of the Collapse, part one. Uh, in the mid 20xx, the ongoing global economic crisis fueled by continued political instability in the US and Europe, contributing to increasing volatility in the financial markets, led to the sudden catastrophic collapse of the Canadian and, in general, the North American banking system. The financial crash. The immediately. Oh, the. This immediately rendered Canadian currency worthless, triggered superinflation of the US dollar, and all trade and economic activity promptly shifted to the Chinese yuan or cryptocurrencies a la Bitcoin. Crippled economy, economically, Canada was brought under the financial oversight of the North American Economic Zone, which positioned Canada as a kind of protectorate of a larger US based economic bloc. From this point onward, the majority of economic activity became centralised on Canada's already densely urbanised population, with a further, with small, smaller rural and remote communities being essentially cut off without a local economic lifeline. Many of these communities had become dependent on for their continued existence. Most rural and remote communities came hollowed out as people fled to urban areas in search of greater economic stability. Basically just the world went to shit. Time is going dark. Uh, I need food. I need sleep. Uh, we're not leaving the store. Going in here. I would like some food. Thank you. It's not moldy. I'm going to use these. And try and keep the tin stuff. Water. Uh, 
Ooh. Hello. Uh, excuse me. I'm just gonna continue looting. <laughs> Really? You don't open it that much. Uh, just gonna ignore that guy for now. He's not bothering us. Seems weird that we're not talking. <laughs> Take that lantern for sure. All uh, right. I know there's more. Can... Hello. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Uh, not quite. Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? Very strange. I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I'm oh, here to Methuselah. witness the passing of an age. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful? My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Really? Depends if we make it out of this thing alive, really, isn't it? You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way. But how could it's they silent. have seen it? They call it the silent apocalypse. It's probably just the storm. The power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. What is this it's town? town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. It's a town of the old world. Discarded, left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. Can you tell us about Astrid? I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. Excuse me, I was taking All a drink. have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. Is that it? Go Fine. safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Me too. Stay frosty, old man. Uh, tell you what, I'll warm up that cup of coffee. Past time to already. 
drink it. more food. Do we have any more food? Oh yeah, oh, well not food but that'll do. Got a steely cup of coffee. Right. Dog food. It's better than nothing. Solid crackers, steel. Well, I can get away with steel. Steel, steel's okay. Moldy, we're not going to give a moldy stuff. Right. Can you get one, dear? Oh, I can. Oh, an energy drink. Lovely. I think we actually overloaded, I think. I do if you are hopeful. The fuck we don't have any wolves. It'll be just my luck that way I can't run and there's gonna be a wolf comes after us. Can I see it over there? Anything. So let's go. We could be line for Mother's house. Can I run? Yes. Do some running. I'm glad I'm not that overloaded. For the sake of speed, what I think I'll do is I may end up having to go hunting. That is a wolf. Can you hear him? Yep, yeah, that is a wolf. Fuck you too. Just took it on a rabbit. Oh shit, it's kind of a bit of blood. Uh, right. I think we've got to put the food in the house. The wood's in that bin that we just passed. Hello, uh, kitchen. There you are. Right, so, uh, eight thousand calories. Or could be an absolute dick. And give her the dog food. Cause she's blind and she won't know the difference. <laughs> that that's freaking horrible. I'll do that to an old lady.
I'm going to have that myself. Peaches look good. Nearly 4,000. Gonna give it. There we go. Wish was got enough food. It's coming up to night time. Um, gonna have some peaches. them and we'll eat that have stock up on food tonight Excuse me, Grey Mother. I'm gonna put that down right here, and we're going to sleep. For nine hours. That should hopefully. Oh, we're nearly full. It's still night time. Um, three hours. up we're at dawn so let's go out and find wood Wolfie's still there and thank goodness made it through another night yes he did and give her the books we're going to find more give her cash Good to burn. Thinking about that. Keep the sticks from yourself. Don't want to overload her with shit, right? The woods up there, I think. I don't know what this guy is doing. <coughs> of course he is. Screw you. Ow. This is a bad idea. He's right fucking behind us, isn't he? Uh, he's gonna get us. He's so gonna get me. Bad idea. I can't run anymore.
car. Get me in this car. Yeah. Okay, for the record, that was a bad idea. Right, what have we got in here? Got a box. Nothing. Nothing in the back seats. Um, right. Good idea. Water. I'm going to be freezing cold in a minute. Cold is making my head feel thick. The fucking thing. Die if I don't warm up soon. Tell you what, I'm gonna have to. Start a fire here, we're gonna to have to calm ourselves down. To calm it down, warm ourselves up. Come on. And hope no animal stumbles across us. It worked. Uh, add fuel. Put all the sticks on. An hour. Time for an hour. Need some more wood. Right. Yeah, but back there I should have ran back in the into the house rather than run off the jump off the uh, the rock. Can I anything else other than twigs? Give her a whole load of ink. Do we find us some actual proper wood? Use the music quite well in this game. Make sure I don't get lost as well. It's 
all twigs. Well, I'm sorry, Grey Mother. You're going to have to deal with a whole lot of sticks. And not proper wood. Hello, bunny. Could do with some meat. It's got one, one bloody stone. Excuse me. Missed. We need to find some place to escape this cold. You do. Right. Sorry guys. Oh shit, I thought that was a fucking wolf there. She's got enough food right now, so it's just get ahead of it. No, damn it. Wrong one. Yes, very sorry guys, it is a survival situation. Head back. Because we're freezing our bollocks off. Take that. Hope this is the right way. I think it is. So sure. I could be lost. coming down a hill.
fog doesn't isn't helping at all. an area that's road at least I found a road whether it's the right road or not I don't remember coming through there like church Being useful. Hmm. Falls. Uh, right. Set a fire. Just make it warm up anyway. Maybe not the best place to do it, but this fire should thaw this deer a little bit. Are you serious? Shit. Come on. Start your bugger. On. Just gonna hang out here for a minute. I won't be able to sleep in that church, I think. may end up having to make a run for the church because that is wolf those are wolf sounds there I don't like this oh, we've got a map Kind of went up this way and then doubled back. So, all right, let's follow this road along, we'll get back to town. I kind of want this deer meat. And I want the hide. I don't want the gut. Check this church for supplies anyway. Town midday. Well, there's the bridge. That's where we, I ran away from the wolf. I'm gonna go in here and have a look. We need more supplies. Now, 
Someone's put a fire. Someone's been here at least. Give me the food. I'll be hungry later. I have that now. Take that flare. Take the book. Water and pass this note. Dear parishioners, it is with heavy heart I inform you of the Archdiocese's decision decision to withdraw me from St. Christopher's Parish due to lack of activity. Though there have been have never been more than a few of you in recent years, your dedication to the church and support of my efforts here will not be forgotten. Henceforth services will be available via Skype only. Not sponsored. Continued Latin lessons also. Please accept my apologies. God bless. Father Francis McGill. It's nice to continue over Skype. Uh, I think that was the Bible. I'm glad I didn't say Bible. I think I'm going to take it to burn. It feels really bad burning books. But it is survival. It sometimes has to happen. Uh, anything in between these? No, no, no. Use print. Right. We should, in theory, have enough. Oh. Should, in theory, have enough. Uh, supplies so enough wood for her and then we can maybe get out of dodge right he is open we don't run into mr wolf Although knowing my luck, so I'll just checking the back there. There, knowing my luck, I will. Well, at least it's not foggy anymore, so I can see I'm coming. Hello, Wolfie. Yeah, this game's mostly... Sorry. Two wolves. Lovely. Uh, yes, this game is mostly uh, procedurally generated, so you don't know what you're going to find. So, if you play this, like if you play to play this yourself, you could come here and find loads and loads of like logs, like the proper chunks of wood that are really good for fires. I think we're not going to go down this way. I think this way is death, and I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, yeah, so you could find a whole load of like really good quality wood up here. I can see you, Wolf. Oh, have some of them. be running for our lives here because I smell of meat let's just do a bit of sprinting
hopefully not sprinting right into a wolf. Where are you? Seems to be on the right. Screw it, I'm running. I think that's part of Astrid's. Let me up. Please let me up. Find a bloody rat wolf on a porch. Right. And give them books to burn. Not enough. Always get more. Ten, so I need a little bit more. I wonder. Let's see if we can blast this out. Smash down some furniture or something. I'm gonna head over here and it's probably. Correction, this is a very bad idea. Very bad, 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 Yes, let's maybe in a stood there a little bit. This is just terrible. A pair of glasses. Trail of blood. Doesn't look like they were good times. Bugger off, wolf. Shall I throw my flare at you. See if we can smash down some furniture and get some reclaimed wood. Yes. Definitely drink that. Oh, cooking pot. Should have that. We'll make more water with that. Food? Do we have food? I'll take cloth. I don't know what it is. Whenever I come into a, one of these buildings, I always expect to see some person. Oh, could ask me anything in the freezer. I feel guilty about smashing up someone's house now. Books will do. Better take this food. I 
like so. Got another bed. Do I have any extra clothing? That'll come in handy. I'll take some socks, like extra socks. Oh, and a scarf. Let's have that, some of that action. One button. Uh, condition goes up, but the... Everything else goes down. Same with that. Definitely put them on. Actually, you know, I'm going to put them on, I think, instead, because they've got better wind resistance and or warmer, apparently. Alright. Screw it. Why not? It's drinkable. Maybe not the best for you, but it's drinkable. I need wood. Or books. Oh, damn it, there we go. I could use this. I'll leave them for now. Throw that away. Hopefully Mr. Wolf is no longer outside. I think we'll maybe good for wood now as well. Give them books. Is that enough? It's not enough. Damn! They can smash your chair. I know Mackenzie, I know. So she... I need more, I need a little bit more wood. Is there anything to break down in here? Let's go and jump in here and we'll have a look. Probably is, you know. Wooden crates. Uh, cardboard box is no good.
Laptop, you put you know set fire on the laptop. Metal chair, cardboard box, load a whole load of cardboard. I need proper wood. Wooden crates. Books. See, this is all like Tinder stuff. We've got an air. Empty locker. No shelf. Board box. Cardboard. Don't want cardboard. We may end up having to go down to back down to the garage, the gas station. Unless I can find some, so it's getting windy. Unless I can find some uh, in the back of one of these trucks. Oh, there's some crates just there. Be able to smash these down. Reclaimed wood. We could eat anything. Yes, yes, Mackenzie. Hope that is going to be enough. Probably gonna regret it. Come on back here to. You gonna get your meal? Oh, newspaper. Could take the wooden. Could take the wooden boards off your air. Uh, off your windows. Let's give a three. No, we've all got enough. Thank you very much. Enough to complete the quest. Hello, Miss Grey Wolf. No, Grey Wolf, Grey Mother. Uh, seen the old man. On the way into town. An old man. Glasses, big beard, walking stick. He seemed uh, a little odd. Doesn't sound like anyone from Milton. Most mm. of the elderly have gone or died. I'm the only one left. The only one from the old days. Any visitors? The old man outside of town, Methuselah, he said he'd seen other people walking towards Milton. Other outsiders? It's Did he say that? Where would they I don't be? remember him saying that. Maybe my friend was with them. If they were outsiders, they might have stayed in the old schoolhouse. In the months after the quakes, people used to huddle there for the warmth of the school's old coal burner. Rare outsider coming through Milton might stay there the night. If your friend came through Milton, chances are she ended up there. Hope not, because 
This place is burnt down. Have you been able to remember anything else about that night? Anything that might help me find my friend? I'm back in that night. Wind howling. Voices passing through town. I can hear them. Just outside the window. It's windy. But the voices carry. They are yelling. Not good. Her voice, it passes through town. She's running. She's alone. Calling for help. But no one comes. Why didn't anyone help her? Yes. Why didn't they? They should have. They should have found her before it was too late. What do you mean too late? Anything else you can remember might help. They said men came from the tunnel. What about the tunnel? The only way out of Milton. The only way through the mountains. It's the only way she could have gone. And I don't even want to say no tunnel. Right, we're gonna leave it here. We've made some okay progress. Managed to feed and get enough food and enough fuel for grandmother from thing. We've got another lead on Astrid. We're gonna to head to the tunnel, but we're gonna do that next time. So thank you all for watching and like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And I shall see you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.